going on everybody so today we're going to be talking about the best way to save for a wedding if you're broke now listen guys i'm married i know what it takes to save for a wedding and it's not that hard in fact it's going to test you before you get married because you're going to do it together we all know nowadays everybody goes to work so this is what you're gonna do as a couple. You're in, in your engagement, engagement phase, you're starting to plan everything right. You've got your wedding coordinator, and I know everything about weddings because I'm married myself and I've done about 15 weddings as far as photography goes. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get an envelope, right? And what you're gonna do is Every time each one of you gets paid, most people get paid every two weeks, right? So if you're the bride, you're gonna take $150 and put it in the envelope every time you get paid. If you're the groom, every time you get paid, if it's every two weeks, throw $150 every time you get paid. Now what's gonna happen over a year's time is that's gonna come to $7,200. Nobody's going to go in there and, and take any money or any of that. Now, the goal with this is even after the wedding, you still want to have money left over in that envelope. So let's say you say for 18 months, that's going to be $14,400 in that envelope. And what you want to do is you want to keep it in a, in a nice, safe place. So essentially this is how you're going to save for a wedding if you're broke now 150 dollars every two weeks anybody can come up with i don't care if you have to uber for a whole day if you uber for an entire day you can easily get 150 dollars as a matter of fact if you put about eight hours in you probably could profit 150 dollars out of one day for ubering so I don't want to hear anything about I don't have the resources to get an extra hundred and fifty dollars because you do. Um, you can cut some hair, you can do some hair, you can do some nails, you can shovel some snow when the snow comes, you can cut some grass. There's all sorts of ways you can make money. You can you can do a car wash every you know two weeks. You can have a garage sale. There's all sorts of things you can do, things that you're not using in your house right now every two weeks. You wanna sell items until you get $150 every two weeks from each entity. So again, you got the bride and you got the groom and you are gonna do it together. And I promise you, and listen, I know we're not in the times where the bride's you know, parents are gonna pay for the wedding. Like overall, those times are over, I get it. I understand, but if you follow this method I'm telling you to do and you stay consistent and you do it together and you don't let the other person down, you're gonna be able to pay for this wedding. Now, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the most extravagant wedding ever, but it's gonna be a nice wedding, right? So remember guys, it's not about the wedding or the event, it's about your overall marriage right so don't let this one time event outdo your lifetime of being together well that's what i got for you guys today again this is the formula you want to use if you're broke to save for a wedding it's not that hard if you find this information valuable if you find this information vital like share and subscribe and i'm out